This video shows you how to apply the Kisley International Flexo Plus Genotag, the tissue sampling tag. This tag system is both an official cattle identification tag, it is marked on all four pieces with the official numbers, and is available as a range of tag sizes and combinations. However, in addition, this product can be used to gather a piece of tissue while the calf is being tagged. And this can be used for laboratory analysis, for disease control and identification, to gather genomic information, and to gather information for an individual identification through DNA testing. This product is approved for use in the United Kingdom by DEFRA and in Northern Ireland by the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development. Currently it has been used extensively throughout Europe for bovine viral diarrhea eradication schemes, BVD. This tag is approved by the Animal Health and Welfare in Northern Ireland organisation for use in the Northern Ireland BVD eradication scheme. Details of the programme and official tag supplier listings are available at www.animalhealthni.com. The Geno tag set is innovative and unique in that all the components are on one piece. It makes it easy to identify and it ensures you can't mix up the various tag components as you go to tag an individual animal. And it avoids a mix-up between the sample of one animal with another animal. This sample security and traceability is a very strong feature of the Kaisley Genotag. The Kaisley Universal Applicator has a number of positive features. Firstly, it is suitable to apply all the tags in the Kaisley range. You do not require to have a different applicator for a sample tag compared with the visual tag. It's also a very robust applicator, strong and durable. The tag also closes in a parallel motion rather than in an arc and this has the benefit of allowing for a very clean cut. Looking at the applicator you will see the pin and there is a grey collar at the top of the pin. This applies the pressure directly onto the tag and creates a stop so that you cannot over compress the tag in application. Therefore, when you use the tag, you close it fully until you get to the stop point. Application of tags. Open the plastic bag with the first batch of tags and remove the strip with the first number that you want to apply. Each strip will give you all the items you need both to tag and to take the sample. The tag for the BVT eradication program takes a sample from one ear and puts an ordinary visual tag in the other ear. Firstly fitting the sample tag. Separate the two parts of the sample tag and put the visual tag away for safekeeping. Loading the tag. Taking the sample piece with the vial, pull back the lower jaws and drop the vial into the hole below. Set the tag in place and lower the jaws to lock the piece in place. Rip off the male part and load it onto the pin, setting it fully in place. Ensure the cutting ring is in place and try to avoid it getting damaged because this would have an impact on its ability to make the incision and also from a hygiene perspective. The, the cutting ring should be firmly seated on the tag as it came from the factory. We want to apply the tag between the two ridge, ridges of cartilage. The male side, the pin and the sample cutter is to the outside of the ear, the female with the sample file to the inside. Close the, the applicator onto the ear 
and on contact close the tag with one smooth solid contact until it hits the firm stop point. Quickly release and drop the applicator away from the ear. The sample will be left in the applicator. Push it out from the base and it's better to do this away from slats and straw, ba straw bedding in case you drop it. One of the features of the sample vial is that it has a clear window. Once you've taken the sample, you can see the tissue sample within inside the, the vial and you can see that the cutting ring has locked and closed the vial. The other side of the vial is white, a clear area for printing so that you can clearly see the number of the tag that coordinates with the ear tag. On the base of the vial there is a data matrix code which can be used for the lab for automation. Now applying the visual tag. In this case put the male part over the pin first. Separate the female part, the one with the green top. Again lift the lower locking jaws back, insert the tag and lock in place with the jaws. Marking the spot on the back of the ear with your thumb, feel for the veins with your index and forefinger and then set the tiger in place on the outside of the ear with the pin, the male, going in first. And then again with a rapid and strong grip, close the tag onto the ear until it hits the stop, snap open and pull the tigers away. Keep an eye on the calves for the next few days and if you notice any sign of infection, treat accordingly. In Northern Ireland, these tags are supplied under the Northern Ireland BVD eradication scheme. For your first delivery, you will receive tags, an applicator, a scheme information leaflet, and occasionally application instruction leaflet. For every 10 tags, a clear jiffy bag and a blue postal envelope. When you have collected a sample, it can be stored for up to two weeks in a cool dry place. As soon as practical, group all samples and place them into the clear jiffy bag and seal. The blue envelope has a white label for your return address. You fill that in. It has a full address label for the approved lab. In this case, AFBI at Stormont, Belfast. Place the jiffy bag into the blue postal envelope tear off the strip and seal the envelope. This is now ready to be have a stamp affixed and to be posted to the laboratory. All results will be reported to the BVD database. Uh, negative results will be reported to you by text to your mobile phone number and positive results will be notified by letter and by consultation to your veterinary practitioner as identified when you join the scheme.